I never thought I would have ever been in a place like this. I called the crisis line and they knew I needed to speak to someone in person, so they sent me your way. I didn't know what to expect. I rang the doorbell and was greeted with such compassion, I knew I was in the right place. I left that day feeling like I had finally been heard, that I got things off my chest. Best of all, I was told I could come back for admission to the CSU. I wrestled with the idea. Over the next week, I fought demons and they almost won. I finally drove here and rang that doorbell. I was again greeted with compassion and understanding, no judgment. I'm one of the therapists here at the Aurora Crisis Services walk-in clinic. I got into mental health because after watching my friends and family struggle with their own mental health, I wanted to be a part of the solution. I really enjoy being able to hold space for folks when they are struggling um, to help normalize their experience, reminding them that they're not alone, that so many people struggle with these things and often they don't tell anyone about them. And so Aurora Crisis Services really serves to make sure that nobody gets left behind. Um, people can come to the walk-in clinic 365 days a year um, from 8 a.m. until 11 p.m. and they can meet with a master's level clinician in a timely manner. Um, any ages are welcome up in the walk-in clinic. Any diagnosis, any presentation, it really doesn't matter what you're going through. If you're struggling with your mental health, you can come in and speak with a therapist. If you don't have insurance, don't worry. It's not an issue at all. Um, for folks with insurance, a walk-in clinic visit is the cost of an average copay. If you don't have insurance and you can't afford to pay, it's not an issue. There's a grant that covers everything. When you're struggling and you need someone to talk to, nothing should prevent you from getting the help that you deserve. So when you walk in, you'll be led to a private room with a private bathroom. You don't have to worry about loud beepy machines or any thin privacy curtains. You get real walls <laughs> and a real door. So you truly have privacy. Um, a graduate level clinician will meet with you as quickly as possible. Um, and from there, they'll determine what the appropriate next steps are. I am a lead milieu counselor here. So my role um, is mainly in what we call the milieu, which is the place that the clients are for most of the day. It's kind of the area that the clients hang out. Crisis Stabilization Unit is a place where clients can come from one to five days um, when they are experiencing an acute mental health crisis. Um, it's a place where they can either adjust medications they're already on or start new medications. Hi, my name is Bobby and I'm an RN at the CSU and I like to let the prospective clients know a little bit about our program. We are a five-day voluntary program. We are mostly a therapy-driven program and expect the clients to attend four group sessions per day where they can learn coping skills. They also will be evaluated by a psych prescriber and prescribed medications. And I always make sure to let the client know that our staff is very supportive, kind, and available to discuss anything that the client will need during their stay with us. There is absolutely everything to gain from reaching out and nothing to lose. I told my story and I was taken in. Every single person I interacted with genuinely cared about my life someone they didn't even know. That is an unexplainable feeling. I was at my lowest of lows and they gave me the care I needed. You literally saved my life. Nunca habrá suficientes palabras o gestos para expresar mi gratitud por cada persona en el equipo de crisis. Nunca olvidaré la forma en que me trataron uh, desde el primer segundo que llegué. Ustedes son humanos increíbles. Desde el fondo de mi corazón, muchas, muchas gracias. In fall of 2021, about one third of Colorado adults and children report struggling with anxiety and or depression. Out of that group, about half of them never receive professional help. I think people are more deserving of somewhere that's more voluntary um, and given that resource to them is super important and that's why the crisis stabilization unit is really important to the community it offers an alternative to kind of hospital setting mental health treatment and um, puts a lot of the power back to the client if you or someone you know is struggling with their mental health and cannot wait for an appointment 
consider speaking with a therapist at the Aurora Walk-In Crisis Clinic.